I think it's gonna be an interesting experience. <laughs> For sure. There are things brewing <laughs> in this chapter. This is one of the things that I was afraid of at the very beginning of the day. Hi, hey, hello there, and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Charlie, and today I'm gonna be writing like Sarah J. Mass. Sarah J. Mass is a published best-selling author who has sold over 38 million copies worldwide. Her books have been translated into multiple different languages. She's the author of 16 different books, over three series, the Crescent City series, the Throne of Glass series, and the Court of Thorns and Roses series. Sarah J. Mass publishes about two books a year, which is phenomenal. And she did mention in one of her interviews that while she was finishing A Court of Mist and Fury, she actually wrote 17,000 words in a single day, which is insane. I think my best day is probably around 5,000 words. That being said, Sarah J Mass has a very strict and unique writing routine that I'm going to emulate today. The first thing that she does every morning is wake up and she has three beverages. <laughs> a glass of ice water, a cup of English tea, and a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. She also has three slices of turkey bacon, which I find oddly specific. I do not have turkey bacon. I have regular bacon though, so we're gonna be using that. Let's go ahead and make some breakfast. So now that I have my very sad and dry looking breakfast, the next thing on Sarah J Mass's routine is she does admin work. As many of you know, I am unemployed, so I don't really have any work tasks to do. The only thing that I have to work on at the moment is my thumbnail and my keyword research and everything for this particular video. So I'm going to work on that while I eat my breakfast. Before I do that, I wanted to take a moment to tell you what my predictions are gonna be for this routine and a little bit more about the routine. So I'm just gonna get my notes out. We've already done the first part of her routine where she wakes up and she makes breakfast. And then as I've mentioned, she works on admin tasks and then she starts her work portion of the day. Now I check to see how long she writes for, what hours she writes for, she didn't explicitly say that she works from like 9 to noon, for example, but she did say that she will write up to 12 hours in a single day. She publishes two books a year on average, but to be able to work 12 hour days in any job, that is dedication. <laughs> Another thing that she does is she wears spandex pants and a fandom t-shirt. I don't have anything fandom at all. The closest thing that I have to anything fandom is just a second. I'm going to go grab it. This little Pikachu that my adorable nephew gave to me when he was staying with me for a week a couple summers ago. <laughs> this is literally the only thing that I have. I have a comfortable shirt that I'm gonna be wearing. It's my thrifted from my boyfriend's closet shirt. And I have a pair of sweatpants because the idea of wearing spandex right now makes me a little queasy. I am still a little sick. There's also just a couple of other things here. She works in Microsoft Word, which I'm not a fan of, but I will do for the sake of this routine. She writes in her home office. She also keeps a mirror by her desk to test out facial expressions and gestures. And I have one right here. So convenient. So one other thing that she likes to do is she writes to movie soundtracks and scores. And then there was just a couple other small bullet point things that I wanted to mention. She keeps a notebook on her desk to work out problems and to brainstorm. This is something that I've done and have been doing for a while, so this is perfect. But she does the majority of her writing on her computer. She likes to make a list of scenes that she's working on for the day the night before. If she gets stuck, she'll get up from the computer and she'll walk away for a little bit. Sometimes she'll watch a movie if the inspiration isn't coming to her. She also breaks midday for an hour of exercise and a quick lunch before she jumps back into work. At the end of the day, she likes to leave on a high note or a cliffhanger 
her so that she is excited to write the next scene the next day. So what are my predictions on how this is going to go. I don't have the stamina that she does. Working for a 12 hour day, that's kind of a lot of work. That's a lot, it, it just is. And I'm going to burn out if I do that. So I'm gonna make my goal today to write at least a thousand words. And I'll write until I feel like I'm in a good place to stop. Other than that, I think I'm probably, I think it's probably gonna be pretty smooth. Her writing routine seems to be really simple, but it's intense. I think it's going to be an interesting experience, <laughs> for sure. Without further ado, I'm going to just jump into the admin tasks, and then I will see you guys right before I jump into the next portion of Sarah J Mass's writing routine. Okay, so I have officially finished all of my admin tasks. So what I'm gonna do now is just list out all of the scenes that I'd like to write today um, and kind of catch you guys up on where I'm at in my manuscript as well because there has been a lot going on. So I will be right back with that. So I've just kind of worked out what I wanted to work on today and when I looked at my Scrivener document, I realized that I actually had stopped working in the middle of chapter 11. So I'm gonna pick up there. There are a few things that need to happen in chapter 11. There's gonna be a fight scene because Chrissy, my main character, has been kidnapped and so she is trying to escape but because of who she is and her misbeliefs, she's feeling too scared to take action because she's worried she's going to fail and get hurt or she's going to get her friends hurt. And then we're gonna move on to chapter 12 which is really really interesting because chapter 12 is where Chrissy gets a glimpse of what her future holds. In chapter 12, there's a lot of foreshadowing happening. There's a lot of hints dropping as to what Chrissy actually is. There are things brewing <laughs> in this chapter and I'm really excited to write them down so I am going to go ahead and just get to work on that like I mentioned before Sarah G Mass works in Microsoft Word which I'm not a huge fan of I do have it on my computer so I'm gonna go ahead and work in that for the morning I'm gonna just copy and paste over what I have already written so far just so that I can pick up where I left off Okay, in typical fashion, I am having the worst time staying focused. So I've only written 202 words so far. I'm struggling a lot. And I think part of the reason is because nowhere in Sarah J Mass's routine does it say anything about her using word sprints or timed sprints. I am a huge fan of Pomodoro timers. It helps me to just be like, okay, I'm only doing this for another 15 minutes. And it just helps me to sit still and focus on my task but i am having a really difficult time with that so i'm going to try to use some other techniques that she's mentioned work for her and i think i touched on these earlier so she does say that if she feels like she's getting a little stuck then she'll get up and she'll walk away for a little bit and get out of the house and then when she comes home she will try to work out any problems that she's having down on paper. This might mean for me that I might actually end up writing the whole scene out on paper because my problem isn't that I don't know what's going on. It's more just like actually staying here and being focused. I might actually take this opportunity to break for the quick lunch that she mentions that she has and hopefully I can then knock out the remainder of the words that I have to hit my goal today. So I am feeling a little bit more refreshed and have spent a little bit of time outside. So I feel ready to get back to work. I'm going to start off by handwriting a little bit more and just try to develop my idea 
a little bit more thoroughly. Maybe it will just help me focus if I have something to hold on to. I currently cannot stay focused to save my freaking life and I am struggling. Every single time I finish a sentence, I go to pick up my phone. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my phone in the other room because it is distracting me. I'm also going to try to write by hand moving forward because I feel like while I was doing that, it really, really helped to keep me focused and on task, but also the words were coming out a lot smoother. It wasn't as difficult to find the words and I think that's because it takes longer to write by hand. I know she typically writes on the computer, but I am having such a hard time, I mean, it is already almost three o'clock and I have only written 391 words. It's terrible. Everything is distracting me today. So we're just gonna try that for a little bit and I will check in with you guys in just a moment after I have written the 1000 words. So now I am just trying to make faces in the mirror <laughs> feel silly. It's actually a really good idea. I usually just sit at my desk and make facial expressions and try to imagine what I look like, but I don't actually take it a step further and look in the mirror. Um, it's a pretty brilliant idea. Yeah, excuse my blanket. I'm always cold, you guys. feels so awkward. I don't like that at all. It is almost four o'clock and I have just now gotten to the thousand word mark. I have been writing since nine o'clock this morning. If that tells you anything about my attention span today, it should. Yeah, I'm feeling all right about the words that I wrote today. They're not special or anything, but I found it really interesting that I was writing by hand and I felt like I was getting more words down. I think I might actually start doing that more often, at least drafting by hand, but that's not what this video is about. So maybe in the next one, um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But as far as Sarah J Mass's writing routine is concerned, this is one of the things that I was afraid of at the very beginning of the day when I started this writing routine because I was really concerned that I was going to burn out really fast and then I was gonna have a hard time staying focused because she writes up to 12 hours a day, which is a little excessive in my opinion. I'm one of those people who I could write for four hours a day and feel fine. Um, she's also someone who doesn't do Pomodoro timers, which I'm struggling with because that is something that really helps me to stay focused. I just feel like the amount of time that she spends writing every day. Yeah, that's dedication, but also like, where do you live your life? Like what, when do you do other things? Like when do you cook dinner and lunch? And like, when do you take time off to do other stuff? Writing is hard and to spend 12 hours a day doing it, um, it takes a lot of dedication and a lot of like discipline. I think is the right word for it. It takes a lot of discipline. I am not a disciplined creature. <laughs> not even a little bit, not even at all. I'm gonna work on some other things for a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of time for myself. And when I come back, I will talk to you guys about what I thought about Sarah J Mass's writing routine. So let's talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about Sarah J Mass's writing routine. Well, let's talk about the positives first, shall we? I really, really liked that she had at least a minimum word goal for the day. I always really like to strive for a word goal. I'm not a huge fan of just writing aimlessly without a goal for the day. Um, it just kind of makes me feel like I'm going to just write on and on forever. 
kind of like how I am talking right now. Another thing that I really enjoyed about her routine is the fact that she does her writing in her home office and she makes her office her sanctuary and she wears comfortable clothing. Another thing that I appreciated about this writing routine is the fact that she takes a break in the middle of the day for exercise. I prefer to do my exercise first thing in the morning. That being said, I do like the midday break. I also really appreciated the fact that she uses a notebook to work out problems in her story. As I mentioned earlier, I think drafting even, drafting by hand, is really useful because it gives the ideas a moment to cook a little bit longer before you actually put them down on the paper, which means they come out cleaner than they would if you were just typing away at the computer. The one downside to that is obviously that it's a slower process. That being said, Sarah J Mass doesn't draft by hand. She only works problems out by hand and I was only writing or drafting by hand because I was having a hard time focusing using the keyboard. I also really enjoy the fact that she leaves off on a high note and that's because when you come back the next day, it kind of gets you motivated to write again or you at least know what's going on next. One other thing that I did appreciate about her routine is the fact that she has the mirror and she uses the mirror to work out the facial expressions that she's trying to convey in her story. I will probably continue to do that later down the line. So let's talk a little bit about what I didn't like. I have probably mentioned this several times throughout the video, but I actually really don't like the fact that she doesn't use Pomodoro timers, especially since she's working up to 12 hours in a day. I do not understand and I don't think I will ever understand how people stay focused for extended periods of time like that. I don't think I will ever understand that. That is not for me and that's just not how I work and that's okay. And also the idea of potentially working for 12 hours a day. I have technically done that before like on and off throughout the day and it seems like she just shuts herself away in her office and she works for 12 hours straight and that is something that I will never be able to do. Sarah J Mass's writing routine is an interesting and unique, pretty rigorous thing. One that not many people would be able to do every single day. I could barely do it for one day. And so, will I be continuing on with this routine? No. If you like this video, please give it a like so I know you did. And comment so that you could tell me whose writing routine I should try next. And if you liked this video and you are not already, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and I super appreciate it. As always, I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.